Hey everyone, over the last couple of months I've been trying out Rider and I've really enjoyed the experience using it and the, the improvements I've seen in my productivity with it. Now if you don't know what Rider is, it's a cross-platform .NET IDE developed by JetBrains and is based on the IntelliJ platform and ReSharper. If you haven't, you can give it a try. It is used to develop .NET, ASP.NET, .NET Core, Xamarin or Unity applications on Windows, Mac or Linux. And you can get Rider on jetbrains.com slash Rider. You can try it for free. And if you use my uh, code in the description, you can extend your uh, trial period to three months. I know it's not much right now, but hopefully in the future, as my channel gains more traction, I will be able to secure better offers for you. And even if you don't want to use Rider full time, I think you should still try it out just because it's something different to Visual Studio. If you're locked in in that environment, it will be hard to escape it and you're going to be dependent on Microsoft and the tool that it provides. And being agnostic in that sense uh, can uh, help you generally as a programmer. Okay, without rambling on for too much, first thing that I would like to do is in these videos, I want to show you how to use Rider and how to set it up. So in this first video, we're going to go over the simple key binds that I set up uh, in order to sort of get started. What we, what we want to do is we want to go into files and settings. So that's control alt S. So that's what I'm going to be pressing to access settings. A lot of the times you want to change uh, the settings because uh, Rider is very configurable. So you find these little things that you, that you can just tweak. So don't disband this uh, keyboard shortcut. Uh, Rider options are very easy to navigate. You got the search here you uh, and you can search any setting that you want. Uh, so I recommend keep it because when you become more or less fluent in C Sharp, rather than looking for programming help, you start to look for productivity help. And that, that, this is the part where a writer really comes in, in handy. So anytime you see yourself doing something over and over again, there is a good chance there is a tool to optimize that. Okay. So opening up settings and being able to find this uh, optimization on go on, or going online, finding it, and then changing the settings is very useful. First of all, that I would like to set is in Visual Studio, you get the option to put the window on the right. Uh, Rider has this option, but it's split and move right, and uh, there is no key mind for this. So in the settings, I would like to choose the ReSharper template. Now, if you are coming from Visual Studio, you can you choose the Visual Studio layout and the keybinds will be exactly the same as Visual Studio. It, you, your transition will essentially be seamless. Okay. But for me, I, I decided to try out ReSharper, ReSharper keybinds, uh, um, see what we're up. And uh, to be honest, I liked a lot of them because they integrate with Rider quite well and doesn't really, uh, so, some of them hinder my productivity in Visual Studio. Some of them don't. I'm going to change, uh, change some stuff around. Uh, to sort of make a hybrid between the two to preserve my productivity when I switch back to Visual Studio. So let's go ahead and duplicate these options. I clicked on the cog and then press duplicate and I'm just going to call them by my name. Okay, so the first thing is I want to be able to pop this window over to the right to split them, to look at, at things side by side. This is a very common thing that I would that I would do. And the name for this command was split and move right. So this is literally what you do. A command that you can find in any of these windows. So stuff like split and move right. And there, there you can find it. Then you double double click on it on right or right click on it. Uh, add keyboard shortcut. And mine is alt dot. And uh, that's because of the carrot and sort of like move to the right. Okay, so that's the way I think about it. And now if I need to move it to the right, that's what I do. The next thing that I would like to do is to set to open my terminal. Now, I liked the open command prompt in Visual Studio extension. Uh, and I would still prefer to just be able to control the terminal a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and type in terminal in here. And the first option is tools windows. So this is to open the terminal. So, so, so or sort of to toggle the tab. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove the current shortcut and I'm going to add alt two. And that was going to be the favorites windows or something like that. And I don't really care about that. Uh, next thing is open in terminal. So this is similar to the Visual Studio extension. And the alt, uh, alt space works a little bit weird here. So I'm going to actually set it to control alt space. So that's that. Let's save that. And now if essentially I will do, if I toggle alt 2, 
my terminal will open and then if I let's say have a directory of like hello in here and I press Control alt space is gonna open a new terminal and it's gonna preserve my old one so now instead of a couple of windows I have one little nice window with a bunch of terminals in here right small things but they are they add up in the end okay next thing is reformatting code let's go into settings and uh, again by the way just so you know if we go into code you can see a bunch of options here like cleanup code inspect code reformat code at the moment it's set to Control alt l so that's i don't want that i'm gonna go ahead and search for reformat and we're, here we can see reformat code i'm gonna remove this key bind and i am going to add a keyboard shortcut of alt shift f and that's really like my go-to in every single uh, editor that i use so setting that here next thing is i would like is code cleanup and i'm going to show you what what the different differences between them so let's type in cleanup sometimes when you work on big project uh, when i work on personal projects i like code cleanup because it's sort of my style and, and i'm not annoying anybody else but uh, if you're working on a big team on a big project you might not want to use code cleanup otherwise it might mess up files they like completely they uh, rearrange them so i want to remove the code cleanup uh, this will pop up a menu and it will ask you which files you want to clean up i don't want that i want to use the silent code cleanup and it's basically just for the current file it's going to clean that file up and it, no window prompt is just going to clean it up okay so i'm going to set Control alt f for it the one that was set to uh, code cleanup so at keyboard shortcut Control f and there we go cool so uh, looking at this file this is essentially what code cleanup does so let's say uh, you have stuff like um, properties down here uh, sorry uh, a field down here a constant here and uh, i don't know maybe it will rearrange it but all right let's see Control alt f and it will clean it up all right so it moved the property down here it, it moved the the read only field up here and the constant is still there but again the position of all these uh, class members you can configure this uh, you can configure it to basically uh, do something like put underscores under, under my private string variables and make them read only if you can so it, it, it can basically complete the code cleanup that you would do okay so the next thing that i missed about visual studio is na navigating into functions so for example if i've got stuff and i press f12 it's gonna pop me to the next highlighted thing and uh, if i want to navigate into i have to press ctrl b and switching back to visual studio i find myself building the project a lot when trying to navigate so uh, let's go ahead and type in declaration and this declaration or usage is this control b key bind that's what i want to remove and i want to add the visual studio one which is f12 okay and let's remove the other one cool so now if i want to go somewhere for example this write function uh writer will also same as resharper it will decompile uh, the stuff that you're going to so you can see the source code straight away okay now the last thing that i missed from visual studio is being able to move my lines up or down by pressing alt this sort of gives you method navigation which i don't really use that much uh, and shift alt is the part which moves the line so i would actually like to put that back on alt and move the me method navigation on shift alt right so let's type in move line and down here move line down and up let's go ahead and remove this this is down so add keyboard shortcut uh alt down i will remove the other one and remove this one and add keyboard shortcut and move up and we can see the one uh, the method we are overriding so in previous method in main menu so we can go ahead and type in um uh, method in here and somewhere in here next and previous here the stuff that you have changed is highlighted in blue so next method let's add the uh, keyboard shortcut that we have removed alt shift down 
and previous method is alt shift up okay so let's save that so now if i want to go to methods i can do it in the same manner but with shift alt up and down and if i want to move the line up and down i can do this and if i want to move a whole function down i can still do this okay this is essentially it for the baseline setup in the next couple of videos i will hopefully be able to show you how to configure writer not to my configuration but i'm going to show you how to sort of discover things and how to configure them yourself we'll also go over some cool functionality that writer has and really what sets it apart from visual studio uh, again i want to mention it's not drastic but there is tons of little things that sort of add up. The only quirk I have with uh, Writer is the start startup time is a little bit longer than Visual Studio. But once it's up and running, it knocks it out of the park. It's a way better experience. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like, subscribe. Tell me in the comments which one is your favorite ID. Is it Visual Studio? VS Code? Notepad++? Sublime Text? Tell me what you're using. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment. Make sure to use the code to get the extended trial period for a writer. I'll see you in my other videos.